Kevin with the Dupuy team at Keller Williams, and this is Mark Jackson, Team Keller Williams, West Side Kitsap County Stats, and this is everything in Kitsap County. Well, before we had like a long list of stats and had to put in comments, so we shortened it down. Still, the census said these are the four most important things right here. How many days on market? Last week, we were right at 37. Uh, this week, right up at 38. Still the same, pretty close. Yeah. The average median price last week was 403, and this week, 387. Yeah. Right around. That Not was that sold. much different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the sold the list price, it's basically what it's being listed for is what you're getting. So either at or above. Yeah. So, so. People, people are actually paying more than the asking price. Right. So no low ball. Yeah, no low ball. Yeah. At or above. Yeah. What you can afford which Mark will get into later. Yeah. And then number of listings sold. Um, oh, that was a little, a little dip there, 113 to 82. Yeah. Yeah. We had a holiday, I don't know that does anything to it. Four weeks ago, what was that? Hmm. Four weeks ago? Because mm -hmm. like if you month. think about when the listings sell, yeah. it's roughly four weeks. Yeah. Oh, right. right. So something That's happened true. four weeks ago, which is why <laughs> the we did Halloween. God. Talking through no, us. Halloween wasn't four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Labor Day. Four weeks ago. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So that's our stats. That's the stats. So, so basically it's, you know, it's still a seller's market, right? I mean, people are still, uh, so this is what this, what this is telling me is if you're a buyer or you're representing a buyer, um, understand that most people are getting the houses at above asking price. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're not going to slip in under, under the wire and, and somehow get a house because there's people out there offering. Exactly. So if you really want the house, if that's your goal is to be successful and your goal is to get the house, right. do what you got to do to get the house. Yeah. Right. Which, uh, which kind of leads into tip. Yeah. This is the tip of the, tip of the day. Yeah. Of the day. So, so the way I look at it is um, really there's no intrinsic value in a house. Mm -hmm. You know, the, really the only value of the house is the materials that the house is, is, uh, is it built with, right? Right. So when you go to look at a house, um, it's, you can't really, it's a mistake to go and say, okay, this house is worth 300000 Right. Because really what it's worth is it's worth what the next person is going to offer on that house. Right. Exactly. So uh, what I like to think is if you want to live in a certain area, you want to live in Kitsap County, uh, you want to live in, in you know, Port Orchard, Bremerton, Silverdale, wherever, right. you want to live there for a reason. Right. Exactly. So you're either going to rent or you're going to buy. Yeah. So you figure out what can you, what can you afford per month? What can you afford to rent per month? You want to figure out what you can afford to live on. And then what you do is you go and you find that house that you really want to live in and you offer that much for that house. Right. You know, or within, within reason, you know, uh, of what it is. Don't offer, don't think that this house is worth this much because it, because it sold for this much three years ago. A little, little story I have is my parents bought a house, San Diego, crazy market, $20,000 in the late fifties. Wow. Early eighties, my mom sold it for 118. Now I just went on, went online and looked at it. It's in the 600s. So if somebody would have went back in when she sold for 118 and said, mm -hmm. this house is only worth 80. Right. I'm not buying right. it. It's worth 600 now. So you got to wow. think when you buy a house to live in, you're buying the house to live in that house. If you're flipping a house, it's a little different. You're going to look at how much can you make in this short amount of time. Right. But if you're buying to live in it, then um, just figure out what your, what your monthly budget is. Talk to your lender. And we've got lots of cool lenders you can talk to. And, uh, and figure out what, what loan amount that, that amount is, and then you uh, you offer that amount. Right, right. I'm a musician, and I look. You, sometimes you get these guitars, like Jimmy, mm -hmm. like like you got like a Jimmy Hendrix guitar sold for you know almost a, I think a million dollars. Wow. This guitar, that particular guitar is not worth a million dollars. Right. You can buy that quality guitar for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. You know, but because it was that because the person wanted it bad enough, they're gonna pay that much. Right. The thing is, is the person coming next going to want the house bad enough more than you to pay more money for that house. Right. So you need to, so you're competing against that person, not against what you think the house is worth. Exactly. No, I think that's it. I think so, that's enough to chew on for this week. So if anything, any of this helps you, um, please forward this to friends and family. Uh, we're here, uh, we're here to help, um, to provide a service for anybody who, who, uh, is even just curious about the real estate market. I'm Mark Jackson, the Dupuy team, Keller Wayne West Sound. And I'm Kevin Mitchell with the Dupuy team, and let's do it. Let's do it. Call us. <laughs>